Hey all, Matt here with Bobcat Bonsai on this wonderful Friday evening, enjoying slightly cool, slightly warm air. It's uh, not too bad. It's like mid 50s, high 50s, something like that. I don't know. Yesterday, I think it hit like 70 degrees and was absolutely gorgeous outside. That wasn't yesterday. That might have been two days ago. I don't remember. One of these days it was absolutely gorgeous out. No, it was two days ago. Two days ago because I was out painting a lacrosse field. Yes. So it was absolutely gorgeous that day. Yesterday it rained all day, but we did sneak in a lacrosse practice, which was awesome because we have a game this weekend. So that's going to be great. Not that any of you care because we're here to talk about bonsai, not lacrosse today. <clears throat> Sorry. But I got lots of new stuff and I wanted to share it with you and just show you the new things that I've got for my bonsai well for my bonsai lots of new stuff for bonsai all right let's get to it all right so first things first I finally ended up breaking down and ordering a bonsai turntable that is circular because this oval one always made it really hard to find a center so I now have my new circular bonsai turntable which is great because now I can display some of these new items on this turntable for you so I ordered I'm not even sure how you say that Vuiyu tools I ordered a set pair of their stainless steel long reach scissors I figured that these will definitely come in handy and it also kind of helps me cheat because I can look at how it's designed and figure out how to make it myself. So, two, two bonuses from that. One, I have a pair of long reach scissors. Two, I now have something to look at as I try to reverse engineer the design. All right, so I was at the grocery store the other day and I picked up more blueberries yes candace i picked up more blueberries so i haven't really gotten any further than taking this off the top of it but it's two rooted plants one is a harvest late in season and one's harvest early in season um they come nice and bagged up like this i have no idea what it looks like inside the bag And the bag is zip tied up. So, that made it a little bit harder to get that off. All right, so what do we have? A whole lot of sawdust is what we have. Yep, looks like a whole lot of sawdust down in here. So what we're gonna go for now is probably plant these up in the ground for a season and just, uh, Well, we'll deal with those probably in another video sometime. So, they're back over here for now. We'll just let them chill out. So here's another great one from Sue. I love Sue's pots. They're really cool. Really, really unique shapes and all that. And me and her were talking um the other day and she said that somebody told her that her pots aren't freeze proof well i would agree and disagree with that statement for one i would say that a lot of her pots like these they're going to be freeze proof there's not going to be an issue with that she did everything she needed to do to get them to be freeze proof now if you buy a pot like this from somebody and you need a warning from them that it's not freeze proof i'm just not sure what to tell you um whenever you buy something that's going to have tight swoops and curves and crevices anything like that if it's not round and can't just push itself upwards out of it and you get something like this where it's got all these grooves 
that's going to break no matter what it doesn't matter what the potter does this type of pot will break in freezing temperatures it's not possible to not break um but apparently that's something that needs a warning I thought it was a tidbit silly but that's okay that's all right because that's just how it, things end up happening sometimes so this la this last auction man I went off on the whole tie rant there I apologize for that this last last auction I actually ended up picking up four different pots from her that I thought were really neat so you all know me and the tiny pots I love tiny pots this one's not super tiny not like that little one that I just was holding and I shared you um, I gotta just accept that I gotta use the scissors a little bit faster this pot super cool I really really like this one when I saw it. it's a little spiral and everything so just a neat little pot right here all right move up in size just a hair get this one popped up check this one out that's really cool the way that the glaze got in here and just gave it like highlight points all throughout even looking down from the top super neat pot so again if anybody does wonder where I get my pots from uh, it's a Facebook group called 99 cent bonsai auction and it's really cool really cool so this is a round version of that square one I was just showing you. Round or oval. I guess you would call this an oval more than you would call it round. But again, absolutely beautiful pot. Alright, so now on to the big one. I don't get big pots very often. But when I do, it's because I really, really like what was done with it. let's get in here check this out so this one has the little spirals all through it very oh the little dots and just how the black sits in down to the feet and the way that they're glazed up very very cool very very cool little pots All right, so hope you enjoyed this video. I thought it was pretty neat. I went on a little tie rant there. Um, that's just, sometimes I feel like we underthink things and just assume, we just assume that things should always be a certain way. But as we know through bonsai, nothing's ever the same way. Everything we do is different and unique. And that's what makes this so fun. We have to do unique and different things. Even if it's the, even if it's the same thing, like air layering, right? There's like, from what I've found so far, there's like 10 different ways to air layer, air layer. And you all end up with the same results. There's roots that come out. So does it matter how we do it? No. All that matters is that it gets done. So there we, there we go off on another tie rant that probably made absolutely no sense. Yeah, I was thinking about just re-videotaping this, but I'm just going to put it in here anyway. So I hope you guys enjoy my randomness here. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up 
If you enjoy my content, please subscribe to my channel because that helps me out. And if you really, really enjoy my content, hit the bell notification so you get notified every time I release a new video. Thank you.